New report from ProPublica claiming that Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas accepted private jet flights, yacht cruises, and luxury vacations from a Republican mega donor without noting them on financial disclosures. That donor is now pushing back, calling the vacations gathering of friends, but the report is intensifying calls for a mandatory ethics code for the high court. ABC's Terry Moran is in Washington. Justice Clarence Thomas has long described himself as a simple man with simple tastes. I prefer the RV parks. I prefer the Walmart parking lots to the beaches and things like that. But there's something normal to me about it. I come from regular stock. But for more than 20 years, Justice Thomas has accepted lavish vacation trips from a Republican mega donor without disclosing them, according to a new report from the nonprofit journalism site ProPublica. Island hopping on a super yacht through Indonesia's lesser Sunda Islands. Retreats at the luxury Adirondack Resort Camp Topridge. All male retreats at the exclusive Bohemian Grove in California. Trips that would cost a small fortune. Thomas and his wife Jenny have enjoyed them. And flights on a Bombardier Global private jet as well. All without paying, ProPublica reports. In a statement, Harlan Crow, the Dallas real estate billionaire who picks up the tabs for these trips, says he and Thomas have been friends since 1996. The hospitality we've extended to the Thomases over the years is no different from the hospitality we've extended to our many other dear friends. Crow adds that he and Justice Thomas have never discussed any pending or lower court case. As a Supreme Court justice, Thomas is not bound by any formal ethics code, though he does file annual financial disclosure forms which have not included the trips with Crow, according to ProPublica. And today, many Democrats called for action. Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Dick Durbin tweeting that Thomas's trips undermine the trust that our country places in the Supreme Court. Terry Moran joins us now from Washington. And Terry, news out of the Supreme Court tonight on another matter. The justice is handing a win to a transgender girl in West Virginia who wants to compete on our middle school's track team. Tell us about that decision. They did that. Justice is declining to intervene in that case to let it play out in the lower courts. And that came while the Biden administration issued new regulations for youth transgender athletes. Under these proposed rules, schools and colleges would be forbidden from having outright bans on trans athletes. But... Schools could have team-specific eligibility requirements, which could restrict trans athletes' participation for reasons like fairness of competition and risk of injury. Looking for a middle ground, Lindsay, and a very divisive subject. Major implications there, Terry. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.